Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I do want to apologize for being away for so long. The only reason behind it was I was focusing on a lot of things in my personal life. However, we're now back and I do want to thank each and every one of you that have been in our Discord server and that have stayed up to date with everything that has been going on. We do have a new Discord server since the previous one did get terminated. I did not kick any one of you. It was simply a termination, so the server did get deleted. However, we do have a new Discord server, which I will link down in the description below. I do also want to talk about everything that has been going on ever since I have been away. There have been a few ban waves and AWP seems to be the only executor as of right now that have lived up to their words. They have had a detection as far as I know within a certain game. However, they have been working to find out how the detection has happened and what they can do to mitigate that for the future. I will be showing you how you can go ahead and set up the AWP executor within this video for any new users. I do still get questions to this day on how to actually set up the executor so make sure you follow this guide carefully. The very first thing that you want to do is head to the first link in the description which will take you over to our website. Scroll down until you see the Roblox section over here and you'll be able to find the AWP executor which will be the first option at the very top. Once you've opened that up you will see all of the different variants that we offer for the executor. You've got the 7 day, 30 day and also the 90 day key. We do offer a variety of different payment methods including card, PayPal and a lot more so make sure you check that out. Once you have purchased the key you simply have to join the AWP Discord server which will be provided to you along with the actual license key. Once you have joined the AWP Discord server, simply click on the AWP bot, which you will be able to find in the actual member list and go ahead and click on that and click on message. And over here, simply type in slash register and send that to the bot and follow the on-screen instructions after you send the slash register command to be able to register your account and redeem your actual license key. Once you have done that, simply go ahead and type in slash download and click enter and that will give you the latest download for the AWP executor. If you already have an AWP account and your key has expired and you have purchased a new license key and you wish to redeem that, all you have to do is type in slash claim send that to the bot and then it will ask you for the license key. Just go ahead and paste in the license key and you will be able to redeem the license key on an existing AWP account that way. So once you have your download, click on the download button and choose wherever you wish to download the executor. For me, I'm gonna choose my desktop. Once you've downloaded the executor, simply right click it and click on the extract option to extract the actual folder and then go into the extracted folder. And over here, you will see the setup application, which will download the AWP executor onto your computer. So let's go ahead and open that up. If you see this pop up right here, click on more info and click on run anyway. Over here, click next, click next again and click install. And that will install everything for you. Once it has completed, simply click on next. Over here, I'm just gonna go ahead and uncheck this, but you can leave it on if you wish to create a shortcut and then click on finish. Now over here, all you want to do is log in with the AWP account that you created using the slash register command within the bot over here. Now you're pretty much ready to go at this point. You can access settings by going over here and you can see a bunch of different things that you can mess around with. If you want to remove AWP from the system, then you can click on the remove AWP button over here. AWP does also come with a hard variety randomizer, which will keep your account safe from bans. So that is also good to have. And that is pretty much it when it comes to the settings. You can take a look at other things if you do wish to. However, we're going to go back over to the scripting tab. We're pretty much ready to go ahead and use the executor. We've got two different ways of opening Roblox at this point. You can open it manually or you can click this rocket option over here, which will inject AWP into Roblox and open the actual application for you, which I recommend doing. So we're just going ahead and click this. The wires over here have connected as well. And as you can see, Roblox has opened for us. Now at this point, AWP is fully injected into Roblox. So you can go ahead and open up any game and it will be ready to go. So let's go ahead and jump into Rivals, for example. Let me go ahead and turn down the music over here. And let me also go ahead and grab a script. Let's just take the infinite yield script over here. And let's go ahead and open the AWP executor and paste the script. And if you click on execute, as you can see, the script is working without any problems and we're able to fly and do whatever we want. And that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Hopefully you did find it informative. If you did, then make sure to drop a like and I will make sure to also stay consistent with the uploads going forward. And as I said before, if you guys want to stay up to date with the latest news, then you can join my Discord server, which will be linked down in the description. And until next time, goodbye.